Welcome to Simmons Bedding Group, one of the largest bed manufacturers in the UK. Simmons is the parent company to two of the most successful brand names in the bed industry today. Sleep Easy and Simmons have, between them, been crafting quality beds since 1886. That's over 120 years of developing and creating sleep support systems, technologies, materials and methods of manufacturing which provide a fantastic night's sleep for thousands of people up and down the country night after night. This DVD is designed to take you on the same journey that every one of our beds and mattresses travels along through our manufacturing process, which is responsible for creating more than 9,000 pieces every week for shops like yours. So let's start by taking you through the production process of the divan base, which is stage one of the Simmons bed manufacturing process. The manufacturing journey of all of our beds and mattresses begins here at our raw materials storage facility. Simmons make beds out of its manufacturing facility site in Rochester, employing over 276 people. The facilities are vast. They have to be to home every raw material that goes into the bed, including the spring units, the wood for the frames and all the fillings, etc. Daily deliveries from suppliers across Europe ensure the stocks of materials are available to feed production. All divan base frames, whether they're made for Sleep Easy or Simmons, are crafted using solid wood from Scandinavia. This wood is 100% natural pine, fully dried and of a very high quality, which ensures a high degree of strength and durability for the bed as a whole. This helps to ensure that our beds last for many years and provide the levels of support that our customers quite reasonably expect. The wood for the divan frame is pre-cut into lengths before entering into the construction process. The dimensions of each piece are dictated not only by the specifications of the divan itself, but also by the jigs and equipment used to construct the base. These jigs ensure precise consistency in the sizing of each divan. The frame includes many features which are hidden from view beneath the fabric of the divan base. These features are constructed at this early stage and the accuracy and consistency in the production of these parts is vital to other assembly processes further down the line. Frame production includes the assembly of the threads for the joining bars, T-nuts for the headboard bolts at the end of the frame and the drawer runners for beds which have been requested with storage options. A set of mock drawers are always used during this stage to test that the runners have been assembled correctly and that the drawers glide smoothly in and out. The frame is pieced together within a specially designed jig. Each vertical and horizontal piece is individually glued and stapled at every joint, leaving no room for weakness or movement in the frame. This gives maximum strength and durability to the platform of the bed. The final stage in this process is to apply the platform top to the frame. This provides the final piece that gives the rigidity to the frame and the surface strength on which the mattress and sleepers will finally rest. The constructed frame is then moved to a storage area to allow the glue to fully dry and set before undergoing the next stage of production. When the time is right and the frame is fully dried, it is ready to be upholstered. Each vertical corner of the frame is covered with a thick piece of cardboard to give it a smooth curved finish. It is at this stage that the frame begins taking shape and becomes recognisable as a divan base as you'd see it on your shop floor. At this stage, any base with a sprung edge specification is fitted with a sprung unit which in turn is wrapped with a polyester topping for a soft, secure finish. This spring unit gives the mattress softer, more cushioned support, which is usually regarded as more comfortable and luxurious. Alongside the divan construction facility is the machining division, where skilled sewing machine operators prepare lengths of material which will cover the top and sides of the divan base, together with frontage of each of the drawers. Each piece of ticking is picked up by the divan assembly craftsman and applied to the frame. 
Once the top and sides of the divan base have been covered and fastened to the frame, the drawer apertures are cut and finished to leave a neatly tailored recess into which the drawers will slide. The penultimate stage of covering the divan is applied to the underside of the base. This receives a thick polyester lining, which is, in effect, a dust sheet, which helps prevent the buildup of polypropylene dust within the divan, which could affect the smooth gliding action of the drawer runners or common allergies and irritations, which are often caused by dust particles. Once this stage is complete, the upholstered divan is channeled towards its final stage of construction. Meanwhile, the same upholstering process is being applied to each of the drawer fronts. Using identical ticking, each individual drawer is carefully tailored to match perfectly with the divan border. Alongside this process, the drawer casings are pressed together and assembled on specially designed machines to ensure that each drawer is the perfect shape to marry up with the runners already housed within the frame. All of the joints which hold the drawer together are secured with wooden dowels and glued for maximum strength. The upholstered drawer fronts, already assembled and waiting, are then applied to the casing and the complete drawer is placed in a storage area until the glued joints have completely dried. The final stage in the divan assembly is here, where the finishing touches are added and the bases are wrapped, ready for the loading bay. There are seven operations to prepare the divan for completion and dispatch. Firstly, each of the drawers is slid into the drawer apertures and checked for a final time that they glide easily and smoothly without obstruction. Then, the drawers are secured with drawer wraps or ties. These prevent the drawers from sliding or moving during transit, which could damage them or cause injury to anyone lifting or moving the bed when it's unwrapped at its final destination. Caster receivers are hammered into the frame ready to house the casters when the customer is ready to assemble the bed. On every split divan base, where two divan sections are required to form a double or king-size bed, joining bars and screws are required to allow the two sections to be secured as one unit. Each of the four corners of the divan then receive a reinforced cardboard protector, which helps to ensure that the divan isn't damaged in the most vulnerable areas during transit. The legs or casters and the headboard retaining bolts, which are pre-packaged in a polythene bag, are then stapled to the underside of the bed to ensure that no essential parts are missing when delivered to the customer. And finally, the base is moved to the automated wrapping area, where it is packaged in thick, heavy-duty polythene and automatically heat-sealed, labelled and finished, and moved to its designated storage bay, ready to be married up with an appropriate mattress. Now, let's take a look at how the mattress is made. With developments in technologies such as foam, upholstery fillings, spring configurations and so on, Simmons Bedding Group supply a wide range of mattresses with wide-ranging specifications. It is important to know and understand what goes into a mattress and the different support systems available to ensure that your customers buy the mattress or bed that's right for them. The process of construction is basically the same for all mattresses, whether it's a pure spring unit, foam block, or a combination of the two. There are a few exceptions where the process may be extended to facilitate additional fillings or finishes for mattresses of a high specification, for example. Like the divan base, each mattress begins its life here in the raw materials division. Each area of the manufacturing process receives its relevant materials to fulfill the day's production of mattresses. Most of the spring units are procured and stored in rolls. They are prefabricated at standard sizes and ready for immediate use. Similarly, our fillings such as viscoelastic memory foam and polyesters, etc., are stored at the required sizes and split according to their respective depths and densities. Thousands of meters of ticking are stored by the roll and moved as required to the machinists who prepare the borders and covers of the final mattress. This is where the process really begins. Every mattress, according to its length, depth and width, has its own template which dictates the exact size of the top, bottom and border panels, along with the tape edge panel. Starting with the side panels, skilled machinists lay out and cut each of these panels by hand, ready for upholstering. The side panels, or border panels, are a surprisingly complex part of the mattress cover. 
Firstly, an upholstering machine is used to apply a polyester lining to the border. When this stage is complete, the border then moves through an automated sewing machine, which adds stitching effects such as side stitching, vertical stitching and micro quilting, depending on the specification of the border for each model. Next, the border is cut to the required length and an all-important BS7177 fire label is added to show that all of our mattresses comply with UK safety legislation. The border is then fitted with side vents which promote fresh cooling air circulation through the mattress fillings when it is fully constructed. And finally, mattress handles are sewn onto the border using a flag stitch pattern to ease positioning in the home. When the borders are complete, they are moved to the mattress assembly area, where they will wait until needed for final construction. In the meantime, the top and bottom panels of the mattress are undergoing a similar process to that of the side panels, but this time on a larger scale. Enormous rolls of ticking are mounted on large upholstery machines, which simultaneously feed and attach the polyester lining to the ticking. Where necessary, and in accordance with the specification of the finished bed, these machines may also apply a micro-quilting effect to the panel during this stage of the process. The line ticking is then moved to a cutting table, where the top and bottom panels are cut to size. Each panel is then moved to a quality control area to be scrutinised, to ensure that none of the lining is out of place. They are then folded and marked to identify where the mattress label must be positioned. With the top, bottom and side panels completed, the next stage of the process is to assemble the support unit that will become the main body of the mattress. Earlier, we saw how the spring units arrive into the production facility in large rolls of pre-assembled units. Each roll contains spring units that are identified by their size, for example, four foot six or a five foot unit, by their spring count, which is always quantified by the number of springs in the five-foot king-size unit, and the firmness rating. The firmness of the springs indicates whether the mattress provides a softer, regular or firmer feel. This is largely determined by the thickness or gauge of the metal spring and the tightness and number of coils in the spring. The spring unit is picked out, unrolled and laid on an assembly table. A metal frame spanning the perimeter of the spring unit is then secured to the outer border to give the unit strength and rigidity for edge-to-edge -edge support. This frame, which is fixed to both the top and bottom of the spring unit, also ensures that springs and the mattress itself retain their shape. A layer of spun bond is then laid across the spring unit, plus a further layer of insulating upholstery is applied. The insulator is a dense layer of mixed fibres and material which provides cushioning and comfortable protection from the surface of the springs. Spun bond is the insulator for pocket springs. Together, these two layers are secured to the perimeter frame by metal clips. Now, the spring unit is ready to move to the padding area to receive any additional layers of mattress fillings. With the spring unit on the assembly table, the specification of the bed dictates the materials which the operator must call upon. Close at hand are the variations in foam, the different densities and thicknesses which sit within the mattress. This layer of memory foam, together with additional support layers, are laid onto the springs. The choice of upholstery is important to give the right feel to the surface of the bed. Memory foam is considered a more modern option, whereas yarns such as cotton, wool, silk and cashmere tend to be associated with more traditional and natural specifications. Finally, the side borders and top and bottom panels, which we saw earlier, are added to encase the springs and other fillings, and the mattress is now ready to be sewn up. The tape edging assembly is a highly powered mobile sewing machine. Guided by a highly skilled operator, the device is driven around the top and bottom perimeter of the mattress, drawing and securing together the panels on all sides until the mattress is finally closed. The tape edge itself gives a strong, robust finish to the primary seams, ensuring that the contents of the mattress remain tightly and securely packed inside. For micro-quilted mattresses, this process marks the end of the construction phase. 
All that remains now is for the mattress to be checked, packed and moved to the storage bay to either join a matching divan base or to be dispatched as an individual mattress. For those mattresses with a tufted finish, there is one more process to go through. The tufting process requires the mattress to be compressed whilst vertical to allow the tufts to be driven through from one side of the mattress to the other, then secured before the whole thing is decompressed to its normal size. Tufting helps to secure all the upholstery fillings and support units within, which in turn prevent movement and possible misshaping of the mattress. The tufting machine compresses the entire surface of the mattress. At this point, Two operators on either side of the mattress begin the tufting process. On one side, the operator pushes a tufting needle through designated holes in the compressing bars. On the other side, the second operator attaches a corresponding tuft. When all the tufts have been fitted, the mattress is decompressed, creating a mattress surface that resembles rolling hills. The mattress is then moved to the final stages of completion. It makes its way to the quality control bay where it is inspected for defects and cleaned of any loose fibers. The mattress is moved to the final packing area, packed in the automated polythene packing machine and taken to the storage bay to be matched up with a suitable divan base or the loading bay for dispatch, perhaps even to one of your very own customers. Finally, Simmons are totally committed to minimizing the impact of their activities on the environment. None of the waste from their manufacturing facility ends up in landfill, and all of the timber used in the construction of their divan bases comes from sustainable sources, from FSC certified suppliers. They believe strongly in ethical principles and good stewardship. They are therefore proud to guarantee that they trade in accordance with the criteria set by the Ethical Trading Initiative.